Hey, it's Joe Lyons, and uh, in this video I'm going to work through um, extracting data from my Zoom uh, meeting. And Zoom is the, the tool we use for our webinars and AutoHotKey, and uh, of course we're having meetings. We, they have a f one for webinars, it costs a lot more. Since we don't have that many people attending our stuff, we, we just have meetings. And um, I am going to start. I haven't done this, so this is going to be an actual working case. Um, the only thing I did do is I created my um, in Zoom, there's three. I created my token, key, and secret, um, and then I saved them in my any file. This way, this allows me to work on this without um, sharing my um, those three values. And so those are going to store them in these variables, and then we're going to build um, build connect to the API. So here they, they have a nice little diagram, which um, I don't really read just because I've, I've used enough APIs, but I understand the, the process, right? Um, here is it's telling me um, the REST API basics and how you provide. So here's a typical post URL. So they'll give you an endpoint um, that says post. And, and I think that when they say post, and this they actually are meaning it's a post, not a GET um, request. Uh, and they're just giving an example here of depending also, see how this has V1. So you're connecting with the um, the version one version versus they probably have a version two, um, and then here are the things. Hey, you need to provide. Do you need must have it? So you you must provide your key. You must provide your secret. You don't have to provide data type. If you don't, the default is JSON. I like playing with XML more than JSON, but um, to each his own. And um, so from there, I'm going to see if I can figure out. Um, Let's see my meeting. Let's let's connect to the meeting one. Is that a uh, create meeting, delete meeting, list meetings? There we go. Because we should have a, a schedule. Host ID must have host ID. Meeting host user ID can be any user under this account. I don't I don't know what my host ID is. I probably can look that up with their API. Um, is there a u user API? The following path goes creation management. Is there a list list users? Okay, so the non records returns and the single API call. All right, I'll return number 30. So this is the endpoint. Um, so first I'm going to get the list, even though the name of my file is meeting, I was going to do something else, but um, let's, let's work on this. So my endpoint is this, the, um, and then I need to work on building my, my query string builder. And this is going to take a key value pair in the form of an object. Um, and I'm going to be passing, actually, you know what, these first two, I'm just building a, a little template here. Um, and then I'm putting in these. So the uh, first one is going to be, um, and I, it looks like I navigated away from it. Um, you know what? Let me let me bookmark this so I can easily get back to it. I guess I can just hit back. Okay, so this API key it is labeled exactly that. So API key is going to be, and I'm using it as a variable here. So I'm putting it in without the quotes. Um, and I, I will bet you money. You put the API token. Oh, secret, secret. That's interesting. I don't know what my token is, but here's the secret API secret. And here's the variable name. So I need to pass those two things to it, and this is going to put them into a, you know, question mark, API key equals, and then the value of my API key. Um, and then, let's see here, API key data type, oh, no, that's, well, you know what, I do want to, I would rather specify, oh, that was not what I meant to do. Um, I'm going to specify this is, hopefully it was XML, save that, come back to here. Yeah, I can just put XML. Okay, and now let's go forward to three. No, get list list of users. Okay. Um, so these are the things that I um, oh do I have to I don't have to provide it. So this URL, if I ping this without any other parameters, because of course I have to have those in, it's going to return back the IDs. I'm going to guess some other information like probably the username or something. Um, I have my API syntax writer here, and and this is an example, so I don't need either of these because that's what we just wrote out. Um, we're not, it's a it's a get 
not a payload, um, so this is going to be a blank variable, but I'm going to delete that. And let's presume we don't need any of these other things. And here I am going to um, show my... You know what? Because I know I know I'm going to make this pretty, unless it ha happens to come out pretty looking. Come on. That's my site output function. All right. And this is the actual API call, right? So now I'm basically this is my API call. I have my endpoint, which I I meant I. It's a case different. The case is different. I like it to highlight to show with that. that's the same in my query. Oh, you know what I forgot to do here was to say query string equals that. So now I'm going to pass it my query string concatenated to the endpoint. Um, I'm going to send it and then it's going to get the response data and it's going to shove it into my output window. And so with any luck, I don't think this is. Oh. Yeah, it wasn't running. I had a different script running. So now I launched it. No errors. Great. Now we'll run it. And let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. We got something back. Um, that is not what I was expecting. That looks like HTML instead of... Oh, there we go. Here we go. A document. Oh, yeah, it is. HTML. My guess is that this is an error. Um... Did I, I got that right? Um, so interesting. Let's see if we can figure out zoom visible. This to me is the response, which I'll probably have to go back to that error page, right, and see. Um, but I, I will bet you money if I was to view this. How can I do this? Um, so we'll do this. We'll do file append. data, file name, and we'll make it utf-8, and then we're going to run, no, we're going to run test.html. Alright, with any luck, that'll pop that open in the browser. Oh, and it did on the other page. Method not allowed, 405. Alright, so now, we know I screwed up somewhere. Let's go back to here and say uh, not allowed. Let's um, REST API basics error. Your app configuration doesn't match. Okay, that wasn't that. It was a 40 something. Um, I mean, I, now that I look at this. I wonder if they are actually requiring me to have OAuth 2. Window open, return meeting URL, call meeting URL, web server. So let me look a bit more at this here. Um, that was a post, you know, this is post. Maybe I, let me go back. Where was I under? Uh, users. Users. And create user, list users. List users. <laughs> List all users, parameter, page size, these, neither of these required, but it doesn't, I'm surprised it doesn't say response JSON, it doesn't say if it's a get or a post request. You know, I'm just on a hunch. I'm going to try changing this to post I, and make sure you keep them uppercase. Um, everything still looks right there. Oh, you know what? And I'm going to need to do because this is going to append it twice. So now it's going to delete it first, then run what gets returned. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That look look it's me. Yay. So I just ran that, but um actually I don't want to run that. Here is so it was. It it was requiring a post command instead of a get command, even though I, I didn't see that anywhere um, in the documentation. But notice here it says page, page number, 
ID. So here is my ID, apparently. Oh, look at that. And we have an email address for Jackie, because he is, I think at one point we signed up under the same account. Um, oh, and so that is, that I was incorrect, that is his ID. This is my ID. Um, and apparently this is my oh, what, picture URL. So if we bring this over, oh, where'd that go? Bring this over here, and if I, you know what, I'll open a new one. Navigate to it. That's that's my icon that shows up in the webinars. Um, see, these are my preferences. Interesting. Um, meeting ID, create time. So, yeah, it has some other interesting data along with it. But it was really this ID, I believe. Um, so I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to put in a comma. I'm going to say, and this, that might, may need to be corrected here, but um, that I'm going to put ID because initially I, what I wanted to do was to see what meetings I had, um, meeting requests, so list meetings, and so this is where, here's the list and host ID, so that I believe, meeting users host ID, and that's what I think I needed. to, um, I need to add this now as a print. Oh, I need to change my endpoint. So this is going to be my meeting list. So now we actually are back. Now that I've done this one, what I really should do is comment it out, um, the whole thing out and start it anyway, but I don't I don't really care. So I'm going to change this. And you know what? I'll leave that, duplicate it, and that way I can always revert back, right? So notice it says user, and this is meeting. But in that one, I needed, and it did, oh, host ID. So see, I was close, but I need to add this parameter host ID, and now this is the key value pair, right? Here's my ID, host ID, text saying this is this is the key, this is the value. It's going to pass it to that. Um, let's stop the running of these things, because now it is coming out. And actually, that I'm not even going to have to make it pretty, because it's it's decently structured. That was the, um, the users. But I'm going to save this, reload it, and with any luck, this is going to show... So... Did it pull back? Let's see. Auto hotkey webinar. Yeah, I have one scheduled webinar um, meeting, which is called auto hotkey webinar. Um, and this has the date. I was hoping it would also have the dates it was scheduled. So there's created topic options. Um, the the time. It's it's at, uh, in Chicago time, but it's start time before. But anyway, it's three Chicago time, Central time. Um, Bummer. I was hoping it would show the uh, the schedule, but um, this is how I'm I'm able to ping the Zoom API. Um, I was disappointed. I I I frequently will come into and look at who is signed up for it, and right now they don't have a way to pull that information. Um, let's go back to not there and not there. Here we go. Oh, oh, that's why. It was on a different tab. Um, so, meeting API. I was hope list, list live meetings. Get meeting info. Get meeting info. List meetings. So, I will bet you money. Let's go back to here. Um, meeting, meeting. I will bet you that other... Th oh, let's get the equals. That, um... Oh, wait a minute. That's a U UUID versus ID. I'm going to guess it's going to take this one instead of that one. But let's go back and take a look here at the list, I did list meetings, I want to get meeting info. And so it's asking for ID, right? Not the UUID, but just the ID. And so, again, I'm going to I'm gonna come back in here, I'll comment this out, because I'm going to reuse that later. The ID was that, and my endpoint, of course, changed. So I'm going to, well, if I was paying more attention, I could just type something, but I'm going to do there, and so, so just documenting stuff for me later. Alright, so now 
it, it just asked for ID, if I remember correctly. I'm just going to go ahead and run this, and I think what it's going to do is going to give me more specific info about this meeting. Oh, invalid input. Host, oh, host ID. Did I not? Reload, save, reload. So, we're going to, you know, let me save, reload, and launch. Invalid. Host, why does it still have host ID? Meeting ID. Here's ID. I don't understand. Did I change meeting extra? I'm going to exit out of this and, and relaunch it and try this again. Host ID. Where in the world is it getting host ID? That's commented out that that is the only spot where that is. ID Alright, I am not understanding without input parameter host ID. Yeah, well I, I don't, I'm not passing host ID. API secret, API key, data type, ID, that all looks right. Um, and, and so this seems like an erroneous input parameter. Code 300. Host ID. Yeah, well, I'm not... Let's go look at the documentation again. Oh! Oh, they're both required. Oh, that's interesting. Alright, that's weird to me, but, um, my bad. So, comma, quote, host ID... And now we're going to borrow. Thankfully, I didn't delete it, right? I just comped it out. So, um, invalid parameter host ID. So, that's a, a kind of squirrely messenger, right? It should have said missing um, instead of invalid, but it is what it is. Okay. Oh, look at that. Perfect. So, now I have uh, information about the meeting. Let's see. Uh, false participants. Um, and then I can see the dates and times of when they're scheduled. So, looks like since this is July, yeah. So it, it only goes forward apparently. Um, shows you the credit app, but then the the meeting is going forward. So we have them planned out for a while here. Uh, but that's again just playing around with the API for Zoom. Um, you, you know, if you work especially in a corporate environment, your a lot of your tools will actually have APIs that you can connect to. And so this is a, a great easy way where, hey, if you do something frequently, you can connect to the API, go grab the data you want, and extract it and play with it how you will. Thanks.